Shift X, Shift Q, Z, Control Q, J, G, Control C. Main thing you gotta take from that, honestly, is that they're all close to WASD. I'm not going all the way out here for anything except for, I think I have only one, which is J. That's my, that's the farthest one away from WASD. So you wanna pretty much stay at home and be as comfortable as you can with that. And that's obviously for speed. You wanna be as fluid as possible, like I said. So just keep that in mind, make, make it up. Whatever you, think, whatever you think your most important spell is, um, put that to Q, put that to E, put that to whatever you think is most comfortable. Put whatever you don't think is most important, which we'll obviously we'll go over class specifics and stuff in uh, later sections, but just, just keep that in mind when you're making your UI. Now, uh, so basically you just open up, to do that all you have to do is open up your action bars here and you go escape, key bindings, now, just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And you go to multi-action bar bindings. Bottom left action bar, that would be the bottom left right here. So you just put your spells here, and then here you assign them the key binds. And there's a lot of useless key binds for like, to open up your character screen, your talents, just stupid stuff like that. I mean, just click those things. Make those binds more useful to important spells. And bottom right action bar, that would be this, and so on and so forth. And also something to keep in mind is you can also bind things to your shift, to, to your mouse wheel. So for example, shift mouse wheel up is my, is my trinket. And uh, I mean, we'll go over that stuff later, but just keep in mind you can also do that. That's a very fast very fast bind is, is uh, mouse wheels. Try and add a modif- don't just have a mouse wheel by itself because then you can accidentally hit it. Obvi obviously try and make it a modifier so shift mouse wheel up, control mouse wheel up, control mouse wheel down, stuff like that. And side, side buttons on mice are nice as well. And I actually use mount this mouse button right here to target party member run and this one to shift forms and I, I sh like I have several combinations just with these buttons like shift and this button does something else control and this button some, does something else so there's there's thousands and as you can see I've completely filled up my bars with different abilities you got you got to use everything in arena so be creative but keep it fluid keep it keep it so that you're comfortable with it so that's uh pretty much it for for setting up your for just setting up your action bar and your key bindings now also what's important with the UI is, other than add-ons, well this is partly with add-ons, but to have a focus frame. Now in Arena, having a focus frame is very important. Basically we explain this in the text version of the guide, but having a focus frame basically allows you to see one person, what one person is casting on the opposing team without targeting them. and. So in 2v2s, if you're targeting one, you, cannot, you can just see what everyone else is doing because there's only one other person. And to do that, to set up a focus frame, you just go out in key bindings. Let's see where it is here. Here it is. Focus target. Don't worry about target focus. That's, that's uh, some different. But focus target, this sets your a person as your focus. So right now, let's say I want to set myself as a focus. Pretty stupid thing to do, but to do that I just go on and hit F9. That's my focus target button. And oh, wasn't targeting myself. Hit F9. And now you can see this comes up here. So I had my action bars up, so let me unlock this and move it over. Okay. So my focus frame comes up here. And there are different add-ons like focus bar or focus frame that makes this different, but the default honestly is fine. Just to see who your focus is here. And with Gladius, I'll show you when we go into an arena, with Gladius, you just need to right click on a person and it makes it your focus frame. So you don't really even need to make a focus target bind in the key bindings. You can just right click on the enemy in Gladius and I'll show that in a little bit here. Now, basically, you have your focus frame, you have your focus target now. So what does that do? Okay, 
you can see how they're how they're casting. Where are you going to see that? Well, if you have quartz, like I said, to get the add-on quartz, the the casting bar add-on. Now, if I cast something, you'll see it shows. Now, this is kind of confusing, but the bottom cast is just what I'm casting. The right is what my target's casting, and the left is the focus cast. So if somebody else was casting right now, if, if someone else was casting that, this is what you would see. You would see them casting that there. And we'll show you uh, in an arena situation how that looks, but just for now when we're setting up the UI, just so you know that's where it is with, with Quartz. And it's automatically built into Quartz. You don't have to enable it. You don't, it's already there. So just know that top left one is your focus cast bar. Right is your target's cast bar. The bottom one is your own cast bar. And uh, don't think just because if you're a melee class you don't need it. Obviously that's even more important because you need to be able to see what a certain target is casting so you can interrupt them need be. And uh, we'll get into that later. But just for now, I know this is how you need to set up your UI. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for non-arena add-ons, er, except for cooldown timers. Cooldown timers, basically, I just use Nature's Grasp. And a little timer comes up here, and it, and it counts down, which is kind of nice. And when this is done counting down, it'll say Nature's Grasp is ready. So that's kind of useful. Uh, advanced add-ons, Afflicted 3, we'll go over that in a later video. And Gladius, and uh, Gladius I'm about to show you right now.